Hello there, and welcome to Strategic Zoomcast. Well, it isn't, but I like saying that anyway. It's an old YouTube series I used to do. But what this is going to be is two excellent two versus two games from the recent Co-1 tournaments. You're looking in the east here at Lookbar's mighty Wehrmacht. His teammate is also the same faction. Because this first game is going to be vanilla factions. And then the second game of today, we will be going into the uh, opposing fronts factions. And it will get very, very messy indeed. But a little bit of classic vanilla to start things off. His teammate is Bulat of the Rooker clan. The allies players in this highly touted tournament game. We have Contador. One of the Co-1 tour tournament players and ladder players that... I was told to watch out for when I first got into the scene in 2010-11 era. They were on about Contador being a really great, great player, etc. And we have the joys of watching him 12 years later. Wow. People just really do carry on playing this game, don't they? His teammate is Le Pep. It's Pepsi. Uh, the mustachioed streaming gentleman playing as the United States. As I say, we've got vanilla factions in this first of a doubleheader. That's right, we've got double main events in this YouTube video because we're going to play with the algorithms and have super long, uber high watch times. And I promise you, you do want to stick around for all of today's action. So go and get some preparations sorted right now. I'm talking cold beers, I'm talking hot drinks, I'm talking food. Go and do it because treat this like your evening's entertainment if you like. Because I'm your host and I'm here with you for the next... Probably uh, at maximum two hours, minimum probably one hour and ten minutes, something like that. Schwimmwagen of Lukbar is not going to get Ursula's feet wet, as the voice line famously said. Going to back away for now and continue the harassment. No damage really done. Meanwhile, this southern engagement, we have an MG42 set up, pushing away the engineers. Pioneers were in position, and we also have Schwimmwagen used for Bullat. Meanwhile, this in the north is Lukbar's Schwimmwagen. Having some good times. Trying to get some um, healing up. And he also has an MG. Notice this map, Declare, has a lot of elevation. Because somehow, elevation did work in Company Heroes 1. They broke it for Company Heroes 2. And they will make it work again for Company Heroes 3. Well, let's hope they can do that. Got a lot of chat going on um, today. Please, moderators, watch out for any spoilers. Although there may be fake spoilers because probably people haven't been keeping up with the tournament. Um, Jeep comes in for Pepsi. And shepherds away the riflemen who, to be honest, advanced. But to what aim? Because they may have all of these territories taken away from them very soon. Two top, uh, look, boss says. We will get a bit of team chat in this game. You're going to have to try and figure out what he... He reckons he's been double teamed in this game. So let's see if he's right. We've got Pepsi on action there. And yes, Contador. So he had both opponents against him. Trying to take away, most likely, this plus 10 fuel in the north. Saying that, though, I mean, the, the Allies have made great inroads in the south as well. I mean, Pepsi's pushed up quite far here with his engineers. There's a huge tank trap line, and there it is. The dastardly sniper in this first vanilla, more orthodox matchup of today. Of course, we're going to have snipers. And now we have a team up. We have the Schwimmwagen team up against the Jeep, forcing it away. I hear some engagements here in the center. MG pushed back with the flamethrower pushing in. And the snipers pivoted around to fire upon the enemies of Zerreich. Anybody um, in chat, just tell me how the audio's sounding. Just let me know if it's sounding good to you. I am interested because, of course, we, I'm in it for the next two hours and I want these things to be balanced well as we use the infantry bridge to get away. Perfecto, says Ed. Thank you, sir. Looking forward to hosting Ed 80 Hertz at Casa del LAE for tomorrow for the Anthony Joshua Usyk rematch. So that's going to be exciting. It's not being that, that boxing match isn't at my house, though. We're just watching it on pay-per-view here. Sniper pushing up, folks, Grenadiers Oh, just trying to create a distraction, but the pressure from the United States has been fantastic. Really feel like perhaps Bullat should have done better against Pepsi because Pepsi's forces were divided. But he can make up for it. Now, Jeep's pushing in against that sniper yet again. 
Trying to make it second guess. Pioneer's pushed away. We do have a mine set up now, so that's why the sniper's continuing an operation. The manpower attrition against the rifles was enough to force them off there. And breathe. You can turn on colours of enemy next game. Um, I'm not so sure I can sell a syphilis, to be honest. It probably is a feature lacking in um, coming to Heroes 1, most likely. It does not have observer mode. It is just uh, watching as though you're actually playing in the clients. Oh, menu options. Thank you, Captain Price. Let's have a look at that. Um, show player color on. Everybody say thank you to Price because he... Oh, no! Schwimmwagen goes down and thank you very much for that, Pricey. Syphilis, I didn't trust you because I didn't know you, and you are a venereal disease. But uh, Captain Price is a known Co-1 player, so that's why I uh, believed him. I'm so sorry. So now, let's just trust our eyes. Sorry, we've got the purple player, Look Bar. I've cast so many 2v2 two two games for Company Heroes 1, and that's the first... It's, it's taken until 2022 for me to know this. I do have a significant amount of egg on my face. I feel like an American diner at about 8.30 in the morning. This is not good. All right, the orange player, to adjust your eyes, is Contador. That sounds kind of orange to me. So it's orange versus purple in the north, purple being Luck Bar. In its traditional red being Pepsi. Versus blue being a bullet in the south. Alright, purple player. Look, Bar has just escalated to skirmish phase. Back in base, we have Kriegs Barracks up for that very same player. Riflemen are pushing in here. He's con continuing to build the Hindenburg line or whatever you want to call it. He's getting more tank traps down but here comes the mighty m8 armored car he's surely spotted the tank traps now there's a sniper out in the open as well first grenade is a low sniper exposed this could be really bad oh dear m8 blocks him in there we've got rifles pushing in as well there's two snipers one fires that's really aggressive mine detonates in the north there continuing the pressure two snipers forced away maybe oh what a shot on retreat and that's our multiple push-up. The American players absolutely collapsing upon the Wehrmacht's position. And they themselves collapsing. Meanwhile, more pressure put down by Pepsi in the south. That M8 hits at the perfect time. And this bunker from Lukbar, the purple player in the north, was only able to get one grenadier. So all that investment, possibly for nothing. First grenade is pushing. We do have a Faust damaged engine. Main gun destroyed. Another damaged engine. Is he going to be able to finish off? All the rifles keep up the pressure. Double snipers hit. They're going to push away the rifles. Surely this first grenade has to stay in the battle. But no, no, no. We've also got a pack 38. Can the M8 survive? It's got a long way back to base. Pushing up the snipers. Pushing a lot of pressure on them. We've also got the 251 that can go and spot for the situation. We'll quickly check out the south in the meantime. New M8 hits. Going to put pressure in the south. Maybe it'll pincer her in. Try and save the day. Oh, shot through the bushes. Oh, he's just about repaired the engine. That's a Pepsi mine. So he can roll over it. It'll be absolutely fine. Oh, snipers. I think they take out a... You guys could have seen it on screen. I didn't quite pick out what it was. Both M8s, Bullat says. Yep. <laughs> Right, so we've got Inspired Assault on this side. We've also got uh, Contador. There we go, going for Armor. We've got Lookbar going for Terror. And uh, so is that Blitzkrieg with the Inspired Assault. I think, yeah, they call it Blitzkrieg Nays, don't they, sometimes? And Pepsi's the only one we didn't see. So that must mean he's infantry, <laughs> basically, is my thinking there. Now, let's go back to the player we started out. Let's stay as Wehrmacht in this game. Um, so that means we'll stay as Lukbar. No, we want him to be purple, so we go as Bullock. There we go. Keep the same team colors so we don't get confused. Oh, Terra is 
Terror and defense. My mistake, guys. Sorry. Usually when I cast tournament gameplay, it takes me a few games to warm up before I get the old Co-1 memories flooding back into my cranium. Alright, WSC surely should be coming in. There's one. But is there any sign of the, the, the snipers on the, the army? So there's your position from Bullets. Meanwhile, there's Contador's American forces. That's his full army. We've got Luckbar here. That's another Wehrmacht player. He's gone for more support weapon orientated play, it would seem. And then our last player is... Um, We've done bullet. It's Pepsi we wanted in the order, sorry. I wanted to see if we had a counter sniper. And no, we don't yet. Okay, perfect. I now understand the situation. Um, go back to bullet. There we go. So we have a full overview of the armies there. Difficult in 2v2 Co 1 sometimes to get a full grip of things, but we have done there. And I feel like most of the fighting has been in the north, which has been very interesting, possibly due to the abundance of hedgerows and sight. Sorry, shot blockers. No sight blockers in Co 1, of course. Mines here from uh, Bullat, M8. Probably didn't actually spot them. He's probably shooting the errant squad there. Pack 38 could do with pushing up. And yeah, we've got a lot of American forces sitting on that victory point in the center for now. Sniper kill tally at this moment. 8 and 15 for the first one. Nibelwerfer firing high into the sky. Check out that strategic zoom. And down on those Yankee forces. Well, where they would have been had they been in the center. But it's a sign of things to come. The Nibelwerfer is great at um, hurting support weapons. Again. Contador this time pushing um, the south. That's the northern player pushing that southern fuel. We have a very north-south split here on Declare. Usually we have a bit more west-east. Oh, two Nibelwerfers. I'm sure he's going to invest in veterancy for that. Indeed, yep. That, well, actually, that's Luckbar's camp uh, craft center. So I'm sure we'll see one for a bullet soon. Again, just peppering the center. It's actually hurt the OP here. And, yep, suppressing the rifleman. So this vanilla matchup, a little bit more slower paced. I'm sure the opposing fronts matchup we'll have later on will be a bit crazier. But um, the good thing about vanilla matchups is they're a delicate dance until they're not. Until the victory point pressure some builds up and creates an almighty inferno. Der coole man says in chat, where is the Konigstiger? Well, all things in good time, dear sir. I'm sure we'll be seeing some epic tank play later in this game. And look at this in the Hendingbird line. It's been built up. Need some mines down. And yes, indeed, he did go for, for infantry company. We have the off-map power, sir. Annihilating that pack 38 and now the MG could be about to die. He doesn't want to retreat it because of course you lose the weapon on retreat. Meanwhile, we have some aggression in the south. The sniper's under pressure from the rifleman. Did the MG survive? No, it didn't, but that means he can recrew it now with the 251 ready to help reinforce. And I have to say, all in all, I would say this is the American player's game to lose. More Nebel for fire. Down. Oh, actually, it's on this uh, peninsula. In the, well, it's not peninsula. It's a very <laughs> open map. But you know what I mean? It's like this. They're not even jutting out. They're just not where I usually see the fighting quite as much. But they've built a very deep line, the Wehrmacht forces. So you're really hoping that late in the game, they're able to push through with a huge Blitzkrieg arrowhead through this bush. Ardennes style -y. And try and recapture the center ground because the fighting very much centers on the, of course, the central victory point late in the game. Up and on map howitzer, perhaps. No, it's just another off map. That recharge uh, quite quickly. Can he just? Well, we're not going to destroy that bunker. We will be seeing another bunker bunker coming up for look boss. So very much defensive play from the Wehrmacht players. Incoming 
Oh, a lot of damage done there to one of those support weapons. Back in the south, Furch Grenadiers can't get onto the battlefield, it would seem. We have Furch Grenadiers looking to push away the riflemen here. M8 pushes in and gets a little shot in there. Oh, we have Contador's sniper pushing in. He's got a counter snipe off it. Would s no, 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 sorry, my bad. There's both snipers. We've got one and we've got two. They're both still together, but the threat is there at least from Contador. I briefly thought that uh, one of the snipers had been killed. Pepsi pushes back in and Pack 38 has to reposition to try and thwart the advance. And Bar pops in the midst of fighting. Fudge Grady is under huge pressure there, but they get around the back of their garrison just about. Nice pop from Pepsi, which makes a lot of sense because, of course, in the UK, Pepsi is a kind of pop. That's why I wear the fez on my mic for my plosives, my plosive peas. More needle ver for firing. On the rifles, but they push forward regardless. Snipers forced away by the Browning Automatics. And the bunker to the rescue. Oh, there you go. More howitzer fire. There's the howitzer. I was looking for that earlier. Still yet to get a kill. Maybe it's fresh on the field. Maybe it wasn't there earlier. Always zoom out if you need to see it in strategic zoom. Always helps. And there's the um, off map as well to help out. Y Yankee sniper pushing up. Five kills already. M8's just chilling. No, any signs of M8 mines planted? Not that I can see. Putting OPs down so far forward is Pepsi there. Veterancy pouring in for the M8. And uh, Bunker. Double inf? No, actually. One of them is armor, isn't he? Let's go for a whistle top st store tour of the armies shall we um, that's your boy Bilat with his two snipers let's do this from a little bit closer in and then we'll go to his teammate look bar the defensive player with further farther land in the north just check on the fighting for now getting veterancy in on his support weapons it would seem Destroying this wall now. I'd said he'd have to push through here, and indeed they will. Let's quickly check out Pepsi's army with the infantry play. Very much infantry focus with that. How it's a firing on the position here. Gonna he's going to hit that mine. He's not too careful. And then his teammate, Contador. Let's briefly tune out and see his forces. Oh, Contador has his own snipers now. The kills on them are 3 and 5, respectively. And back to Bullat is our perspective. And here we go. We've got the Panther. This is certainly going to help push through this position now. He's continually, continuing to defoliate the area, <laughs> if that's a word. Nebelwerfer's helping lead the way for the armoured fist of the Wehrmacht. This is going to really start to push the agenda now. Meanwhile, this the M8's going to have to recoil in terror. Snipers poke in and get some big shots there. Vermat snipers continuing to be rather defensive. But the American snipers are pushing up. We have to keep an eye on this because this is always big in a Co-1 battle. The sniper fight. The rifles are looking to spot them. Will the Wehrmacht snipers reveal them? Do they know the game is possibly up? Oh, I don't look away from this situation. Quickly check out what else is going on. Not much, it would seem. Back to sniper fighting. Ooh, it's fun. It's dangerous. The espionage, the subterfuge. The panther. <laughs> oh, the snipers have revealed themselves. Will they both get count sniped? We have a miss. Oh, they moved away in the nick of time there. Decreasing the accuracy against them. Rifles are pushing in, however. There are bunkers to save the day, perhaps. They'll probably be able to do that. Siegfried line. Is it the Siegfried or is it the Hindenburg? I'm not sure. Sure, You guys decide. 
Oh, Stuka Zafus flies high in the sky. Who's gonna die? Oh, it could be this M1 AT gun. Both shot shooters are fine, it would seem. MP40 folks grenadiers is having a little sulk around in the center looking for the next victim. Oh, look at this. Constant indirect fire helping them push back in. But we now have Hellcats built for Contador. Ooh, some big shots from the Panther there, it would seem. M8's getting a bit dangerous. And they could not... They could not decap the central victory point, it would seem. Vermat Sniper's getting more aggressive. And the US Snipers are pushed away. Off-map artillery on the defensive position. So all the snipers are still in a standoff. Big push away. Both Stukas of Fuses trying to reposition behind the Siegfried line. Definitely the Siegfried line. I think that's more World War II, isn't it? Hindenburg sounds more World War I. Ooh, M8's going sniper hunting! Can he find them? Perhaps they could jump in the garrison, maybe. Oh! Panzerfaust on the M8. Where's that panther when you need it? We've got, meanwhile, the Nibelwerf in a really tight-knit pattern this time. Oh, annihilation there from the snipers. 88, where you want it? Oh, here it comes. The flak 88, baby. Let's go. I love it. Give me the flak 88. Where do we want it? I, okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Ooh. I want the flak, if I'm building a flak 38, where am I going to put it? Hmm, I think there. I don't know, that looks like a cool vantage point. Let's be, uh, let's be uh, Rommel here and uh, think where, I want my flak 38 on this. Or is that far enough forward? Maybe this. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Look at that, because then you can reach the center. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> I love this game. It's so much fun. Hey, yeah, good. <laughs> hey, yeah, good. Is he British now, Bullet? <laughs> right. Hellcat pushing forward. He's got a V1. Oh, yes, he has. The vengeance weapon. Furious Fury. It's going to plummet down with that yellow la 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 soon uh, to follow. I told you this game would heat up. I told you it would heat up. Players have got some tricks up their sleeves. And, and I'm liking the guy I've chosen to follow because this tells me when the, the V1 will be used. Knights Cross holders have a, a very rude awakening there. Pocket of firing. Nibel Verfers. And Stuka Zafuses. Stuka with Fietzes. <laughs> Probably translates as in German. Coming down. What's the plural of Stuka Zufus, uh, dear Germans? Oh, we got triple rifles pushing in the north as well. Surely we've got the howitzer firing. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Check on those snipers. Seem to all be fine for now. Ooh. Right, the rifles continue to push in. Are they being suppressed? Yes, they are. MP40 folks are looking to mop up. Damaged engine on the 251. Rifles push up. Hellcats pushing in. One gets hit by a veteran C2. Pack 38. Oh, and they're hurt badly there. We've also got off map. But there we go. We've got a lighted war machine. They're going to build them in a Detroit factory. And ship them back out over the Atlantic, it would seem. Rifles made it really far into enemy lines. And this big push, but is it a failed push? Well, he gets the Hellcats back. It's not as such. But the Panther was just picking them off for days. And, the well, the big news for me is the US players have only lost um, 73 victory points at this point. And the Wehrmacht are down to 231. Knights cross holders and MP40s pushing them away. Sturmgewehr MP40 action. Snipers both forced off in turn. 
Uh, and look at all this American armor. They're ready to go yet again. Mid. Yeah. Definitely mid. Declares basically all the action in the mid. Past the 20th minute, it would seem. Hellcats are thinking of pushing straight in. They have no fear. Still got enough for, for field repairs, perhaps. Sniper pushing in as well on a lot of these forces. Oh my, what a game this is. Where's that pack 38? There it is. That's what took out one of those Hellcats earlier on. He really needs to... And he put it in the position I wanted. What a legend. Love it. Oh, he's hurt the Hellcat quite badly there. Can he finish him off? Does he know where he is? Probably can't see him anymore, obviously. Hellcats, with their tail between their legs, or tracks rather, are forced away. I can't believe I didn't pick out the fact that it was a Flak 36. I've been mean, saying 38, by the way. Sorry, guys. Flak 36, of course. With its 88mm cannon, hence the 38. <laughs> World War II is confusing. The most confusing element of World War II is American... Um, American arm, uh, weapon naming systems. Oh, the snipers! One! Both taken out there! The long-lived sharpshooters of Bulat finally make their presence felt against the enemy sni counter-snipers that were built. Big pickup for the Wehrmacht. So the early wins from the US and Stukas Afusis on the rifles. This could be really nasty. How did they survive that? Really lucky. Um... Survival. Minus 2S. <laughs> That's saying something. Flat 36. Being hit now. He really wants to get rid of it. m 8 pushed in. Oh, but he's taken out by the Panther. Both snipers remain present. And the central victory point's finally been neutralized with the, the points haul down to 200. Not too bad. And the Wehrmacht snipers are getting really aggressive. And look at this. They're spotting for everything. Is the... Uh, the Flax facing up here, it would seem. Don't know why he's doing that. Needs to face down here. Yes, Allied War Machine. Does he have any follow-up for this? The snipers are being pushed away. Panther is possibly in peril. Can the Hellcats penetrate that rear? They need to do it right now. Is the flat finally facing the right way? Yes, it is. Out of control goes one. He's still got one other. And he's two big shots here. Oh, but he's missing out horrifically. He's going to possibly take out a Nibelwerfer. And Sniper, meanwhile, got blocked in by the other Nibelwerfer. May have to go through the artillery. This could be really unfortunate. Oh, the Sniper got taken out. <laughs> he got blocked in. Falls back over the bridge and taken out. Meanwhile, <laughs> oh my god, the artillery... Didn't care about that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. That's such a funny moment. <laughs> right. Rifles pushing in. They've not got that much of extracy at this point. Meanwhile, now, Hellcat's forcing off the folks' grenadiers. The victory point went back into American hands. It is a one victory point situation. Here come those Nebelwerfers, the uh, counter snipers for the Americans. Slasher. Still got this V1 rocket up his sleeve. Maybe he could finally look to get the howitzer. Nice cross holders. Oh, there we go. Nibelwerf is obliterating the engineer core for Pepsi. Ouchie. That, that's not good. Oh, it's Contador. Sorry. Contador's the orange guy. Remember, Contador orange. There's the one sniper. They did get the double counter snipes off, but they uh, both unfortunately died for them. Vet 3 on the Panthers yet again. Allied War Machine used. Oh, Sniper has to force away. Can the Vet 2 rifles with a better accuracy find him? It seems not. Oh, but the Calliope could. <laughs> he ends up calliope his own Hellcat. <laughs> Bit of bad luck for both teams. And the Flak, who does need some heals if he can possibly give it to him. What a funny game this is. 
Knights Cross Holders again going through the Cat Panther. Pushes in against the lowly M8 with the Flak. 36 possibly about to take it out, perhaps. Let's get a shot of that. Oh, it's out anyway, thanks to the Panthers' work. And here come the Hellcats. What a fun game. We're watching Victory Point firmly in Wehrmacht hands now. But for how long? Panther down. Sorry for missing it. Looks like the M1 got the kill. It would seem. Meanwhile, oh, we're going for Southern Victory Point capture. That's good from Bulat. The tricksy Russian going around the southern side. Bulat wants vision, apparently, for the V1. K sec. Oh, here we go. Oh, time for that. Wallalalalo. Oh, sniper taking fire. Oh, here he comes. Shrimp organ going in. Can he get past the enemy lines? Meanwhile, Calliope could take out the sniper here. What a good game. Oh, sniper down. Shrimp organ. Does it get the... Yeah, here it comes. He's got to find that howitzer. Oh, God. I love this moment. There it is in the sky. Oh, shit. Oh god, my heart's in my mouth. That's so scary. I'm sorry, but like, you know, Company Heroes One, such a more like fun game. <laughs> the Company Heroes Two, it's so much more fun. I don't care if it's Imber. I just don't give a shit, man. It's so much more fun to cast. <laughs> no way. Is that true, Grad? Did the Shrimp Bargain get away? You're joking me. Oh my god. Allied War Machine used yet again. Victory point stays in Wehrmacht hands for now. Both Hellcats out of control. And that's surely got to be it. But I've just looked at the replay time and oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell? Triple Stuka Zufusis. Zufusis rather. It's behind a building. Anyway, Nibelwerf is firing on the M1s. Oh, annihilated there. The capping engineers. And having no luck at all. What are we having more out? Probably Panthers, I imagine. Yeah, more Panthers. Calliope forcing these units off for now. Ah, decrewing the flak as well. Pull me. Decrewing the flak as well. Good work. What a game this is going to be. I absolutely can't believe it. I, 32 minutes in and honestly this game has so long to go. It, it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. No sign... If you think the Allies are just going to get stomped at this point, that cannot simply be the case. There are ways getting back in. Rockets ready, apparently. That means these uh, little uh, half-tracks here. More KCH coming out for uh, Bullat. Let's do an army check at this point. There's Bullat's army. Uh, Pepsi the American, that's his. He's got loads of AT guns, holy crap. Meanwhile, Contador. So if we choose him. He's got two Calliopes now, so loads of indirect fire. Oh, let's see have some fighting here. Should probably keep an eye on what's going on. Yeah, pushing up against the garrison. And uh, I'm probably just going to go back to Bullet and continue casting because this is getting continuously feisty now. Pushing away these forces here with all these AT guns pushing into the center. Stuka. Sorry, what am I on about? It's a Calliope annihilating a pioneer. 
Double Panthers causing trouble in the centre, dominating over there. Right, do the Allies have enough punching power to get back on the field? I know what they are, Captain S. Price. I've said Stukas of Use probably 50 times in this cast already, but thank you so much. You were very helpful with team colours. Using the infantry bridge to get back on the field yet again. Tree flying all over the place. KCH pushing back out. Rifles need to defend here, but they don't have the veterancy to withstand this. They do, however, have a heavy machine gun team ready, but can't quite stop it happening. There we go, we've got triple infantry veterancy. Oh, in the north, these veterancy two rifles can certainly do some damage. Maybe they can get to vet three, and that would certainly help. But there it is. These KCH are inspired to fight harder. A further farther land. Right. Oh, pushing in with the Fox Grenadiers. Causing a distraction, it would seem. Oh, taking out the M8 there. Oh, and there it is. The uh, rocket assault of the defensive doctrine used with devastating fashion against the on-map howitzer. Arguably should have been a bit more defensive with his placement, one would assume there. Panthers just absolutely dominant in the centre, stopping anything pushing back in. Oh, Calliope's catching the Pioneers out. May even delete that bunker if they carry on. Fairmat have now forced the Allied opposition down to 320. KCH need two sniper shots to be killed. Can, however, be crushed, so they certainly don't want that to happen. There you go, there's that second shot. And forcing them off. Oh, but other KCH get round the outside. And they're eating everything up in front of them. Vet Zero riflemen aren't going to do enough, but there is a bit of suppression in there. You know, look at the placement of this bunker. Just using bunkers to eat up valuable victory points. And the artillery rains hellfire from above. Killed the Calliope with it this time. That's a good call out from Luckbar. He's helping me cast from the past, it would seem. Again, the riflemen just pushing in. Using the possible cover to help them get there, it would seem. Grenade not working against for the fatherland being popped. Here comes the Calliope yet again, allowing the infantry to push forward. Can they decap? There's not much to stop them, to be honest, so it would certainly appear so. Maybe the Stuka the Stukas could help out. It would certainly be helpful. A lot of um, munitions in the bag for Bulat. He's going to have a V1 ready yet again soon. Back in base. We've got the howitzer built yet again for Pepsi. A little bit more defensively this time. Better positioning. Calliope's trying to take out the KCH, but well positioned from them. And the KCH march onward. Didn't win those medals by being cowards, that's for certain. Contador's rebuilt his sniper forces. KCH have something to say about that. The bunker, sorry, machine gun emplacement's being finished, though just about in time. Need to get that browning whistling. Here come the Hellcats around the outside, but not before the M1AT gun is devastated. Meanwhile, Panther pushes in. Oh, that's close. A lot of damage being done. Oh, just about forcing the KCH off. Again. Oh, walla la la la, here it comes. Where's the target? Oh, nearly taking out a Calliope. A bit of a 
a gambit there, not paying off for him. He's got enough munitions in the bag. He'll have another one in 452 seconds. That's a, quite a long time, to be honest. Six minutes in total. Back in base. Just survey the Wehrmacht Empire. Repair bunker in the back lines there. That'll certainly help with the micro burden. A target destroyed, apparently, somewhere. Ooh, Hellcat's looking to go around the back. Perhaps of the Panther. Meanwhile, rifles push up to create a bit of urgency. We've got a quadruple rifle pushing from Pepsi. He's really starting to make these rifles work for him now. He's kept most of them alive. He's got decent veterans. You just need some Vet 3 rifles, and you can finally work against the, the Knight's Crossholders, but not getting the kills he needs at this time. Triple veterancy for the Wehrmacht players on the infantry will, you know, help that. Because, of course, 20% extra health per model. Calliope hates this house in particular. Panther pushes up against the Hellcat. Ooh, the flak has been decrewed yet again. KCH! Oh, that's bad! Getting away with all three. Soldat there. Soldaten. Panther pushes in. So much fun. There it is. That's what he's on about. The 200 rocket. There's so much hurt on the American players, it would seem. Right. Stukas of Uses, Have they fired for a while? Let's check out the kills on them. Seven, five, and seven. Put a little bit more pressure. I think he's missed a few cooldowns on them. Showing that there's actually a little bit of slack in the German army. KCH looking to push up. But here come those rifles. Can he finally start to get veteran C3? Certainly forces off the KCH. Panther's not the best against riflemen, of course. He doesn't have any anti-vehicle presence. But an engineer devastated there. Next, it'll be the uh, machine gun emplacement to fall. Rifles continue to push in. Pepsi is carrying... The game for the Allies here, just constantly harassing and applying pressure. And can he get a decap on the victory point? Yes, he can, but KCH will soon see to that. And he gets a kill, a vital kill on the Nebelwerfer there. Forces off the Folks Grenadiers as well. Meanwhile, we have a Panzer IV for Luckbar. Just to give a bit more anti-infantry power. Noting, oh, finally, maybe. Will the Calliope's wipe a KCH? Need a few good rockets here. One man escapes. Rifles come in. And this is what I mean. Finally, the pressure is beginning to add up for the Allies now. Finally. This should be a big decap, but the Panzer IV is a great answer by Luckbar. Because it has the qualities to force off the riflemen. Not before they cap the victory point, though. Panther has no such ability. More KCH being built. MP40 folks grenadier is pushing in. It feels like Luckbar has enough comfort in the north to do this now and come into the center and help out there because they won't like losing that victory point. He's going to have to use the off map. He's going to have to do it. Yep, forcing him off, buying time. KCH looking for the snipers. Oh, that's not good. And Calliope coming in against. This could be the pioneers in peril. Just the, the US presence is, is starting to add up a little bit now, I feel. Still, they've got some good synchronicity going. That's a crocodile Sherman from Contador. KCH are going to get burnt alive. And that's veterancy 2 already, thanks to killing KCH. That's what I'm talking about. When they do drop, they drop hard and give a lot of veterancy away. Pepsi's rifles get it. Sticky, what are the Stukas doing? He's misclicked the Stukas into action. Or does he want the pop cap? <laughs> I'm not sure. Surely. He... Yeah, he wouldn't be that foolish because you don't want to give veterancy to the US like that. That's a misclick. 
Pioneer's destroyed. Prop war utilized. A veteran C3 rifles for Pepsi now. That's big. That's going to allow him even more killing power with the rifles. And that's what um, the Co2 Nooblets do not understand about the beauty of the US Wehrmacht matchup. If you're equally skilled, it can be absolutely godlike. It's all about uh, maintaining enough pressure. Talking about pressure, we got the Pershing, that'll certainly help. To actually get to Veteran C3, get, getting the preservation to actually make the matchup equal. The game is not balanced, it's only balanced if you're good enough to make it balanced, if that makes any sense. Because the Veteran C does kind of equal out, but only if you're good enough. And that's the brutal, the brutality of um, Company Heroes 1 in a nutshell. <laughs> it's horrific if you're not anything but the Elite. Anyway, KCH forced off there. And here come those boys, the equalizers, the veteran riflemen coming back onto the field. IP used against these infantry forces. M1 forced away. The suppression wasn't enough to thwart the KCH, but maybe this crocodile can. Veteran C2 on that bad boy. KCH caught out in the open. This needs to be a retreat here. A little bit late for my liking. Now the Panther should probably go for the Crocodile, but he doesn't know what's lurking there for him. Meanwhile, we have a push in from the Vet 3 rifles. Prop war used against them. And the Vet 1 rifles are enough to cap. 156 remains for the Axis victory point haul. Can this Panther help out against the Pershing? Rear armor exposed. Here it comes. First shot. Oh, big rear armor hit there. Can we get another one? There's another Panther lurking, however. Oh, we've got an M1 AT gun helping out as well. Big armor battles beginning to unfold. Do we have any other engagements? Yes, we do KCH and Panzer IV in the center. Pershing gets some good shots in and then retreats away. You need kills as the US to get veterancy. So nothing happening for the Pershing there. Vet 2 rifles. Can he get another Vet 3 squad? Pepsi, can he? Just don't know. Oh, Calliope against the KCH again. He just marches forward past the rocket artillery threshold. I agree, Magna. Whoever said no smoke used hurts. Absolutely. It's mind-numbingly ridiculous in Company Heroes 1 and 2 elite level that smoke doesn't get utilized as much as it should. It's such a fantastic, fantastic utility. It's not even like uh, casters and viewers willing it. It just actually is at, every, at the, every level, to be honest. Oh, huge rocket artillery there. Taking out an M1. Sniper's in peril. KCH pushing in as well. Got the Pershing, however. Going to cause issues for them if they're not careful. And victory point remains neutral in the north. Rifles push in to neutralize that VP. Panzer IV. One shot away from death. M1 couldn't find him, but that will. Artillery takes out the tank. An actual classic. We've got rocket artillery. Where's it going to hit? Oh, that's... Oh, no, not that's not it. Still going. Oh, God, I'm scared. I'm scared. There's so much going on, and I actually couldn't make out the rocket artillery there. <laughs> so many huge explosions. I heard the wall low. I heard the silence, and then it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Folks, Grandy is trying to take the point. That crocodile Sherman on five kills, looking for Vet 3. That'll make it a barbecue on wheels. Panther bursts through the bushes, looking for a cheeky shot in. Meanwhile, Calliope gets multiple targets. That's good value for money. Oh no, Cal Crocodile goes down to the recruit Flak 36 and KCH take the central victory points. Vermat with a bit of resurgence there, a bit of dodgy play from the allies I would say. Pershing finally has a kill. It's 
Stuka Zufu's firing once more. Got two rifles. And an Ostwind firing upon them. The Flak Panzer causing issues. Now newly onto the field. Oh, big shots in there. Artillery is from multiple fronts. And a hell of a lot going on. That's the caster trying to buy time to work out what's happening. But to be honest, I'm 49 minutes into this cast now. And I am losing all understanding of what the fuck is happening. <laughs> Explosions. Death. Misery. Cunning. <laughs> KCH pushing into... Spotting for the Flak Panzer. With Flak support, don't forget. Vetsu Rifles try and hold the position. Friendly fire killed it. Thank you, Captain Price. That makes more sense. Some defensive arty must have taken it out or something. Oh, big shots from the Calliope. Quite a lot of anti-armor used there. Pershing low on health. Oh, that Panther taken out. Pan Pershing low on health. We've got a Vet 2M1 immediately for taking out a Panther. Sniper against KCH. That could be deadly. And forces him away. Past Sturm Gewehr. Effective range. Oh, KCH taken out there by rifles from Condor. This is going badly for Vermat all of a sudden. And the Vet 3 rifles. Best unit in company heroes history. In the center. Hellcat's doing some work. Vet 1's decap whilst the Vet 3 evade the Sturmgewehr. Then return Browning fire. Just trying to get out of effective range. And then return very effective counter fire. And there we go, the allies recapture the central victory points, putting the pressure further on. Lookbar and Bulat, Pepsi and Contador need to struggle to survive here. Stukas of Fus continuing the assault. Are they going to fire? On the retreat paths, perhaps. Yeah, they're on all these AT guns trying to take them out. Oh, my God. Look at the rocket fire being returned by the Calliope. The Panthers backing up. The packs taken out. Stuka Zafus goes down. Rifles push in. Continuing the assault as the Flak Panzer tries to repel them. What's this in the south? It's Hellcats doing a hell of a lot of work. Looking to get some good fire in. Oh my god, this is Company Heroes. It is very finest. It's messy and destructive. M1 pushed a little bit too far forward. Pioneers, a one-man pioneer, tries to decap whilst the KCH go to work. Yeah, that was a good Kelly, wasn't it? Another flat panzer. He's fancying these guys. Because he knows it's the rifleman in a 2v2 of this caliber that really will swing it for the uh, US players. If they're not too careful, they need to keep up both anti-infantry and anti-vehicle. Pershing um, still has gotten to veterancy 1 now. He needs to take out that pack 38 if he can. KCH push in. Really wants to not lose any Soldaten to the rifles and give them that veterancy. Oh, that's bad. Some huge attrition for Pepsi there. As Contador watches on. Hellcat firing against the Ospins. There we go. Calliope could take out an Ospin here. That would be needs a lucky rocket and he gets it. See that one that clipped the corner? That's the one that got the kill. Maybe it was actually uh, the Hellcat. Could have been the Hellcat. Panther pushes in. Against the Pershing. We've got field repairs on there, it would seem. Well, no, that's just, sorry, the engineers doing their work. Ooh, packs pushed up. Pershing's in peril. Needs to be careful. Go, look, Bar says. And when your teammate says go, you go. No looking back. Number one rule of 2v2 communication. 
Can they make it happen? He's getting in there. Pershing main gun down. Oh no, one more shot required and he's down and out. No munitions needed. And here we go, another Pershing pushes in against the lowly mortar of the off-mat combat group. Huge push. Doing some great work. How it's a firing on the Axis infantry. Can these rifles rescue the central victory point? And here we go. We've got a new Hellcat. A new Pershing pushing against the Panther of Bullat. Huge penetration through the center. Meanwhile, Flak on the attack. It's going to thwart the advance of the Allied armor. It would seem. Oh, what a day. And don't forget, guys, if you're liking this, please feel free to subscribe both on Twitch and YouTube. We are doing a double header of Epic 2v2 action for you today. It's going to be this game, a vanilla uh, 2v2 battle. And then we're going to go over to the opposing front factions for another tournament escapade. Hellcats and Pershing battle group. Rally. Pershing, of course, got good anti-infantry powers. And the first grenadiers has no all about it. Ooh. New Panther on the field. Calliope allowing a nice covering fire. A curtain, if you will, for the Allied armor formation. Finding a flak. Panzer out in the open. Going to take it out for certain. Surely they are. Yes, they are indeed. Now it's the Stukasafusis. It's hunting ground here for the Apex Predators on the field, it would seem. Panther's got to defend the pride. New one struggling to get out in the into position. This having a great time. Flax having a great time. All this allied armor is going to go down. This huge dive. Can the riflemen <laughs> under suppressive fire capture the central victory point looks unlikely looks a little bit desperate to be quite frank Pershing continuing to fire can it take anything else out main gun destroyed is not going to help in that endeavor KCH march back onto the field and that huge dive from the American players doesn't seem to have gotten what they need it to grenade doesn't do much against the Knights cross and to be honest the Wehrmacht players look like they could possibly mop up now in all honesty they could really push in deep and take out these Calliopes if they wanted to. Will they sense that? The bravery of Pepsi's infantry pushing back in with Hellcat. And another Pershing support there. Allied War Machine seemingly used it would seem. Surely, maybe just had enough manpower reserves to call it back in, maybe. Didn't see the uh, utility pop up there. Rifles force the Knights Cross off. Brown in automatic grenadiers. Battling against them in this huge confrontation here. This is to side the central victory point, to be honest. Whoever wins this can cap the center. So much light cover helping in that regard. Oh, Knights Cross sneak back up. And what is this Pershing doing? Sneakily crushing the tank traps in the north, it would seem. Ah, okay, Magno, that makes sense. That's why I've missed it, I think. Yeah, he must have used it. I don't want to change um, the army in this game because I like knowing who's who with the colours. It's a bit disorientating to change armies to figure things out. Taking out the OPs in the north. Some tank traps hurriedly being constructed there. M1 pushes up. Contador with the Vet 3 rifles. In the centre. Pepsi, sorry. Oh, big shots on the repairing pioneers. And a decap. We're at 115 to 188 in this game. Pershing. He's probably going to get blocked in by the pioneers. Oh, what a play. He's blocking the Pershing in. And the Panthers are distracted. Meanwhile, the rifles have used that distraction to cap the central victory point. We've got two Vet 3 rifles for Pepsi. That's like the uh, rise of the machines. Terminators pushing into the north. Double stickies possibly coming in for, against the Panther now, maybe. That'll do a lot of damage. Just watch this. If they can get them off, that is. Pershing, of course, is down to the flak. 
with its four tank kills. There's a double stickies. Look at the health bar. Immobilized. <laughs> That's vet three rifles, baby. It's a sitting duck out there. But they're going to need two more stickies to, to absolutely finish it off. And we've got loads of Knight's Cross. Look at the 1.5 damage multiplier against the Knight Cross holders. And they're not going to be able to finish off the Panther at the moment. Meanwhile, in the center, looks like these Grenadiers have finished the cap there, it would seem. He's repairing it. Oh, look at the battlefield. Hellacious there. Oh, and Calliope on the Pershing, forcing away the Engineers. Look at that cinematic. It's gorgeous. Love watching this. Absolutely love it. it. Rifles could not stand the heat. And they're going to run back to the kitchen. We've got a, a, a broken howitzer selected there. Continuously selected, it would seem, and bugged out. You can see the triangle of it. Pershing doesn't like that pack. He's going to have to reverse away. Calliope answers it back. And it faces its rear. It's going to get destroyed, possibly. Yep, destroyed. There you go. Panther pushes in against the Pershing. And we've got KCH capping there. What can the Allies do against this? Can they finally... They've made one big push in. The rifles are really helpful, but they need to build enough armor contingent now to really um, thwart in the center. KCH mopping up AT guns. Pershing. Oh, no. Being fausted. Allied War Machine definitely used this time. Oh, M1 AT guns. Operating well. Where's the rifles? But one Vet 3 squad pushing him. But where are the others? Multiple force. It seems like they were in the south. Here's the KCH counter. It is a Calliope, but no lucky rockets for you. No lucky strike. Vet 3 rifles forced away by registered artillery there. And new Pershing, the AWM, on the field. Saw a bit of smoke, have we? Yeah, a bit of smoke. Finally, Magnolia. Yeah, that's right. Corrupt style and Porsche engines. Oh, the mortar's going to get countered there. And so is this Calliope by the marauding Pershing. One last barrage. One last barrage on the center. <laughs> a death zombie barrage. Pershing could not get the finishing kill the hell? Here comes a new Hellcat. And Pershing converging on the Panther. Bounces a shot there. Oh, penetrates through the center. Hellcat to block him in. Gunner killed. There's Rangers for you. Lead the way. Don't mind if I do. Yep, still no uh, KT. Be a bit of a sitting duck though, to be honest. I'm liking the mobility of this game thus far. Think about the amount of artillery you've seen. Range is possibly going to push into the north here. There's nothing to stop them, except for the Siegfried line, yet again constructed. Ah! The revenge of the Calliope against that Panther. A lot of damage done by that Calliope there. Meanwhile, Sniper acting. We've got um, Victory Point helping out. Sorry, uh, Artillery helping out the Victory Point. KCH... Getting rid of the observation point. KCH just oh, absolute henchmen. More Vet 3 rifles for Pepsi. This guy's got a lot of them now. Pershing forces away the KCH finally. Oh, on retreat is this. Uh... It's actually on the Stuka. It's a little bit on retreat, though. Panther, 
there's more Nibelwerfer fire on this Contador force. Pershing against the Panther. The double stick is coming in against this Panther. Bounce shot from the M1. That's not helpful. This will be helpful though. There you go. Surely... Destroyed engine. There you go. That'll help. Oh, and a huge Calliope Barrage on the KCH. He's very fortunate to have kept those bad boys alive. Doing no damage and taking out the Panther. Rifle's now free to take back the victory points. Somebody's lost... Well, I know that Bullard's lost a unit there. Oh, it's the Panther finally dying, of course. Look at these rifles pushing back in for Liberty. For the American, totally not an empire. Registered Artillery yet again used... To keep the central victory point in their hands. Contador fighting a battle. He can't cap it, but these guys can. Oh. <laughs> MG, new MG from an off-map combat group, no doubt. Pushing for Pepsi. No one can cap the central victory point. It remains in allied hands for now. Ooh, Flak Panzer thinking of pushing into the south. Oh, that's a good Calliope Barrage. There's double snipers here. He just builds two snipers. Pulls them onto the field. They've yet to get a kill. Meanwhile, Flat Panzer pushes in against the support weapons. What's going to stop it? Not much. There are Vet 3 rifles. Oh, nice push in from the Pershing to take out the Flak there in combination. Oh, damaged engine. Rear armor hit. And here comes the Pershing possibly to finish it off. He's going to focus. Got Stukas being utilized. They need to help this situation against the M1 AT guns. Main gun destroyed there. Can the Stukas take out the newly veteran acquired M1 AT guns? Possibly. Again, Calliope versus KCH in the center. No cap from the allies yet, but a lot of work has been done. It has to be said. Can he get a repair job on this Pershing? That would certainly help, but I don't think he's got any engineers. I've not seen engineers for a while, to be honest. There's a mishmash of allied units for you. No engineers to be spotted. Oh, wow. What a game this is. One hour and six minutes I've been casting. One hour and six minutes of this hellacious game. Right. The allies are now below the Axis victory point count for the first time in this game. 106 to 101. Is this a sign of things to come? Have the Axis ground the allies down to a pulp. Minus Vet 3 down. That's a big call. We've lost a Vet 3 rifleman somewhere there. Possibly, I don't know where it's there. My brain is not a mush. Stukas of Fusis firing. Also got these Calliopes continuing to cause devastation. Stukas of Fusis dodged quite well there. Bit of friendly fire on the Vetu rifles and they know it so they have to retreat away. Can we finally, finally get a cap? It does not look likely with the KCH and the Panthers watching on. I don't think the Allies have enough to push through to be honest. I think there's a failed push here that just, it happened about 20 minutes ago and since that point I've not seen them field enough fighting force to really trouble the Axis. It's all about preservation, you can't afford to push in that heavily and not get any big kills. Pershing. Can't take out the KCH it would seem. Oh, V1 used. They defended the fatherland until death. Yep, on the observation point taking it out. That's an expensive observation point destroy. Oh look at this. He's pushing really far up now. Pershing. Not going to do much. This is an Axis game that has clearly been won. Gave it a bloody good go though, didn't they? They really did. I can't see any way back for the Allies now. Yes, they have the Pershing back. But, um, yeah, it's all over. One too many. It's just that big push here. They they absolutely could have won had they, keep, had they kept enough uh, veterancy on the armor, I would feel, or something like that. Maybe more field repairs used this game. I don't know. Of course, Axis 2v2 on Declare. Double Wehrmacht is a very tough nut to crack. But I, I do feel like it could have happened. The 
Oh, there you go. That's a bit of uh, moral victory there. How it's taking out the sniper. Maybe it's not over. Maybe I'm a moron. We've got two AT guns pushing in, but all we also have... Ah, one of them's dead. <laughs> and the artillery's about to hit on the rifleman's head. Ouch. It's definitely over. Their victory point's continuing to tick down. They've lost the southern victory point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're definitely dead. Yeah, all the Hellcats been down. No need to waste my voice. I do have another game to cast today. And one. Oh, we did finally have a King Tiger. There's its first kill for you. Out of control goes the pushing, <laughs> crushing it to the victory point. In this Vax, uh, this Axis OP simulator. And the King Tiger's just going to get killed for being on the field, it would seem. Maybe I should hype cast this once more. If the King Tiger goes down, Panther goes down, maybe these M1 AT guns can rescue the game. Maybe. There's a prop war. GG. <laughs> uh, funny. Anyway, GG, well played um, to Pepsi and Contador. I don't know who won the series, and I'm not going to look at the brackets because I have another game to watch. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to theorycraft. I'm going to theorycraft. And I want my co Wan dudes to stay with me here. Okay, my theorycrafting is such. In order to beat that as allies, you have to get a Hellcat train that is... has accumulates veterancy and gets away. So you can't go deep. So if we go back to the uh, the game here, what I mean is like the Hellcat train kind of does little pushes like this and goes around here maybe. Or goes around there, perhaps goes back to base. But if you see it going too deep against the flak, I'm not so sure about that. And the flak was just so devastating all game. The flak 36. Um, the, the Hellcat train would come up here, come up there, come up there. Meanwhile, the flak was firing on it. So for me... You can't really Hellcat train into this territory unless the flak is down. I mean, that's that's kind of obvious, surely. So they, they had to try and take it out somehow in order to win this game and then Hellcat train. They have to synchronize. And yeah, we're asking a lot of the allies. But they do have lots of aces up their sleeve. I mean, Vet 3 rifles with an intact Hellcat train can be really useful. But I feel like Allied War Machine was used a lot this game. A hell of a lot this game. And, um, you know, and I'm not so sure it was as good as it could have been. Um, you know, it could have been a lot better. The field repairs, I didn't see enough of that. And I think Hellcat train with field repairs, retaining veterancy, uh, can mean the Allies can win one of these 2v2s like this. I've seen it happen in the past. But, uh... Yeah, as I say, my co one brain is starting to come back to me a little bit now. Basically, though, yeah, happy head popper. The question in co one is, how do you beat Vermat? Basically. <laughs> it is really difficult, though. We're going to have another game, though, in about 10 minutes' time. I'm just going to go and get my voice back. Um, and we'll be back with another replay soon. Thank you.